Pierce Brosnan wants a Lady James Bond. Get out of the way, guys, and put a woman up there, he says. Welcome back to Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once, until I get replaced by a Lady James Bond. That's 90s 007, Pierce Brosnan talking to The Hollywood Reporter after reports have surfacing the new 007 will be a female. Now, we'll get to that in a second, but here's what Pierce had to say about all of this. I think we've watched the guys do it for at least 40 years, the last 40 years. Get out of the way, guys, and put a woman up there. I think it would be exhilarating. It would be exciting. I'll go into his acting. I don't think that's going to happen with the broccolis. The broccolis are the people who made it. I don't think it's going to happen under their watch. The upcoming Bond 25, No Time to Die, which will be Daniel Craig's last outing as the British spy, has been rumored to reflect the hashtag MeToo era. Brosnan said that this is the right choice. The Me Too movement has been relevant and significant and well needed in our society, he said, so they'll have to address that. Now, I like Pierce as an actor. He's really classy. And because of that, I think he's just going through the motions here and saying the right answer. Now, I just watched him in the movie No Escape where um, Owen Wilson throws his daughters off of a rooftop, so that's pretty interesting. Recommend watching the movie. It's decent. So I'm kind of high on the Pierce Brosnan, and then this brought me down to a little bit of a low, but I think he doesn't, I think he's just going with the wind here. He's old, he's an established actor, he doesn't want to cause any controversy. This is the easiest answer he can give. Now, in July, the Daily Mail reported leaked info that actress Lashana Lynch would replace Daniel Craig. Now, keep what Pierce Brosnan said in mind about they're most likely not going to make a Lady 007 in mind. Keep that in mind while I tell you what was reported previously. Bond 25 would open with Daniel Craig in retirement, having been replaced by black British actress Lashana Lynch. The source said that a pivotal scene at the start of the film has a character, M, calling Agent 007 into his office, revealing that 007 is actually Lynch. Quote, there is a pivotal scene at the start of the Bond film where M says, come in 007, and in walks Lashana, who is black, beautiful, and a woman. The source said, it's a popcorn dropping moment. Bond is still Bond, but he's been replaced as 007. The insider source also confirmed that James Bond will be heavily, sorry, will be sexually attracted to the new female 007, and will be left, quote, baffled when his seduction tricks do not work on her. her. The term Bond girls has also been removed from popular usage, has now been replaced with Bond women. It goes on to say that Bond is still Bond, and he's having to learn to deal with the world of Me Too. Now, it doesn't matter to me if you want to make a black, brown, or Simpsons yellow female secret agent, but the Bond character, the James Bond character itself, has specific origins which come into play with the tasks and missions that he accomplishments and, uh, and that he accomplishes, and the character traits that come with that help him accomplish these missions. You can't even accomplish a lot of these things if you do simple, simple, something as simple as change him, change him into a, a black person, a uh, black male, which is something that was rumored before. I think it was Idris Alba or somebody was rumored to be playing him, 007, I mean. But there's a lot of stuff that you can't redo with a black Bond, pretending to be Russia, going into these places in Europe, just dressing up as soldiers and businessmen that are from there, speaking their language. You can't do that with anything but a person who looks like they're from the area. So if you want to do that, just make a spinoff. And if, and if it has any of the same caliber of action in it, same drama, same sexiness, then I'll still watch it if it's a spinoff or if it's just a different character in the Bond universe in these movies. Some of the content is predicated on him being white. I don't know if that's unfortunate or fortunate to you, but uh, it's, it's not a ton, but it's a decent amount. Like I said, speaking Russian, for example, is in a lot of movies he deals with Russians. Making him a woman, however, and we can skip the athletic and physical arguments, the character of Bond is dangerous, deadly, charming, and it's because of his quips and his one-liner and his sexy, I don't know, caution to the wind lifestyle that he gets women who are world, with world leaders, who are super powerful, super rich, with terrorists in a lot of the uh, in a lot of these situations. If it's a woman, then the only thing she needs to do to get these men is be hot. Let's be completely honest here. It's not as much of a challenging endeavor for this to happen if it's just simply a woman as 007. What I don't get is why would you change a character that has such a long history uh, with such a dedicated fan base just to appease Hollywood? I don't get it. It's not going to be a smart move. It's not going to do as well if that's the case. 
Imagine the new Star Wars movie just came out and Han Solo is a woman. People would not be happy. It's not because she's because they hate women. It's because the character is so much in base in being that type of person, that man, that it makes no sense to to change them. And it just looks like a complete cop out in, I don't know, a bending over to social justice. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be great. And Bond is just replaced by a woman and action ensues, and it could still be good, and if Pierce is right, and they would not actually replace James Bond, the main character, into a woman, it could just be one of Bond's many problems at work, where he think he thinks that he's being replaced, and he doesn't want to listen, and it's actually just a really good plot twist, where he can't seduce her, he has to do what he's told to get his job back, and of course, what's going to end up happening, I think, is they'll have to work together, and maybe they will fall in love at the end of the movie, or at least, you know, have one of their PG-rated sex scenes that Bond movies are so good for. Now, it's the SJW mob mentality part that I don't want to be fully injected into this. And an example of that that, I don't know, frightens, worries me is the correct word. You can't say Bond girls now. It has to be Bond women because they're not objects, everybody. But that's part of the character. James Bond tends to treat women like objects in a respectful manner, mind you. He doesn't... uh, well, I was going to say he doesn't lie to them. He certainly does. But he doesn't treat them like garbage. But he is sort of object, objectifying women. He's going around the world sleeping with them. Not that big of a deal in the context of a movie, but one of the original Bond girls disagrees with the fact that people are saying that 007 is becoming a woman. Actress Trina Parks, who played the first black Bond girl in Diamonds Are Forever, told The Mirror that she disagrees with casting Lynch to play the new 007. LaShawn is a great actress, but I don't really agree with her becoming 007, Trina told the outlet. It's not about her color, a black James Bond, sure, but as a man, it's just because Bond, the spy codenamed 007, was written by Ian Fleming as a man, Miss Bond doesn't have the same ring to it. Now, I agree with her. You can make it a black Bond if it's all these modern movies, but Ian Fleming's James Bond is a character from Camp X, the spy camp during World War II. I was going to say three for some reason. Maybe that's coming up. World War III is on the horizon, everybody. But you can do that for all these new movies, Black James Bond, go for it if it's if it's current. Like I said, you can't remake some of the old ones where it just doesn't make sense. You can't have a Black James Bond going into um, the USSR and pretending he's a, a Soviet uh, soldier and speaking Russian and everybody's going to be like, okay, I believe it. <laughs> But as a woman, James Bond, it complete, it just completely changes the character. Just make a different movie. And if it's good, people will watch it. Why not, right? People watch Wonder Woman. That was a great movie. That's a strong female character. What if you just replace Wonder Woman with a man, and it's the island of male Amazons, and there are all these shirtless dudes fighting each other? I don't want to watch that. Uh, I thought Wonder Woman is a great movie. So let me know what you think. If you don't like the movie, and if it turns out this way in... The, the worst possible way that we can think of, then just don't watch it. This shouldn't change our lives. Sure, it sucks that a character is being thrown to the social justice mob, but don't let, it, don't let it get you angry. Don't let people tell you it's racist, because if Black Panther came out and was a white dude, it would be stupid. If Wonder Woman was changed into a man, it would be stupid. So remember that I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once, for England, James. Mm-hmm.